10 to 12 uh, parents. Welcome to our advanced program mathematics uh, presentation. I am Mr. Shloma and I will be giving you more details about this subject and what we do in this subject. <coughs> the course outline for uh, grades 10 to 12, I decided to combine so that I can give you a full picture of what the people covers in grade 10 to 12. The names of the topics are the same, but it is the level at which they are, how far they go in grade 10, how far they go to grade 11, how far they go to grade 12. That's why I've decided to make this a uh, one presentation instead of splitting it from two f to in, into grade 10, 11, and 12. So we have got a, a compulsory section of uh, the syllabus, which covers what is called the algebra and the calculus. Then we are required to choose one of the following uh, topics as an elective module. So you will either do statistics and probability, or you do matrices and graph theory, or you do finance and uh, mathematical modeling. So here, the pupils have got a choice, especially when they are in grade uh, uh, 10, to say that, I ah, know, because of the career that I want to choose, I would rather do statistics and probability because I want to go into the, maybe, um, the research kind of uh, field. That's what I'm interested in. Then if you are into uh, financial mathematics, then you go into finance and modeling. But uh, since I introduced this advanced program mathematics since uh, 2008, uh, I've realized that uh, people opt to go for the finance and modeling because it is also covered in mathematics. So it is more like a two-in-one kind of a situation so that they do not have to study twice. Once they do the finance and modeling in uh, APM, it means they've covered it also in maths, which is not a problem at all. Right. So the con content that we have been covered in term one and two. So we have done uh, mostly this year algebra and the calculus part. What is expected of uh, the pupils in this uh, section or in this what we call the module is um, people should be able to establish, to define, manipulate, to determine and represent the derivatives and uh, integral, both as an antiderivative and uh, as an area under the curve of various algebraic trigonometric functions and solve related problems. Uh, this might not make sense to a grade 10 people because uh, most of the teams which are covered in this kind of a description, they haven't done it specifically because we are still building the foundation for us to be able to do what I have just said, what is uh, written uh, above there. So in grade 10, these are the topics that we have covered and also in grade 11 and in grade 12. You can see some of the topics are more or less the same, but as I have said at the beginning, it is about the level. So when you see a topic which says uh, complex numbers in grade uh, 10, and you also see complex numbers in grade 11, you can see we say further complex numbers. It means we are extending on what we have started in grade 10 and so forth, and then we go on up until uh, grade 12. <coughs> then uh, what we are expecting to complete in term three and uh, term four, uh, we haven't started financial mathematics. We have started uh, the mathematical modeling in grade 11. We have uh, done financial mathematics in uh, grade 12. And we have done mathematical modeling, which they also wrote and tested. We have done uh, con integration in term 1 and 2, but we are going to continue it in term 3 and 4. And also the graphical applications and optimization in uh, uh, term 4. Then um, how did we calculate the marks in term 1? So this was the mark breakdown of uh, the mark that you saw on your child's report. This is how we calculated in grade 10, everything that they do in class. I will try to make sure that it counts towards their um, term report so that there is that consistency throughout the term so that they will be able to work and continuously so that um, daily effort is consistent. So the homework that they do, they normally do homeworks which they submit after seven days, which I give them only weekly so that no child is left behind. So that's why this homework are counting and they are very important. And as you can see, so the in grade 10, the mini exam that we wrote before the lockdown counted 40%. And in grade 11, that mini exam 60. And in grade 12, it counted 50%. Then the format of the September exam. So the grade 10 and 11, they are going to write one paper, but the grade 12, they are going to write two papers on the same day. The timetable uh, for these exams has already been published. 
so you can actually go and look where are they going to write so they will write in grade 10 and 11 a paper which is one paper out of plus or minus 300 marks a maximum of 300 marks for three hours so it's a very long paper and uh, here they are tested that uh, their competence so when you compare it to maths it's more like uh, this is double the amount of work that they are required for mathematics but uh, the time is exactly the same so for the topics that we have covered everything that we have covered in grade 10 will be assessed as well as in grade 11 and in grade 12 so for more description you are going to get uh, an exam booklet with also similar details on what will be in the exam so here yeah, i encourage all the fet people's grade 10 to this please start revising now do not wait for the exam period for you to start doing this work as you can see it's a lot of work this is work that is starting from term one up until term three so there's no way that you'll be able to start this year from the um i think from the uh, 21st or from the uh third uh, from the sorry from the third of september that will be too late so please can we uh, start doing it now ask questions let's do revision together so that we can prepare for these exams right so i just want to explain to you what is advanced program mathematics what is the purpose of advanced program mathematics and uh, what are the aims what is this subject all about um advanced program mathematics is a non-designated uh, subject so what we call it a non-designated i think the terminology has just changed to non-recognized uh, subject by that what we mean is it does not count towards the aggregate on the, your child's report so when we calculate the average apm is not included and also it does not count towards the final aggregate in grade 12. so what's the point of doing advanced program math i think most of you might be wondering um, although it does not count towards this is a subject that has grown i think a lot of interest in so many schools and so many people are taking it because there are so many advantages in a society that values diversity and equality and um, we are a nation that is a global competitive economy so it is imperative that within the fet band the grade 10 11 and 12 peoples who perform well in uh, mathematics in the core what we call comets uh, are given a significant uh, um, are given a, a chance to show their knowledge their skills their values and attitude which are associated with math so this is more of to give those people who are already excelling in mathematics a chance to challenge them because mathematics becomes monotonous becomes boring you're regularly doing it but is that what it's all about no um we, we, the aim of advanced program mathematics is to increase the number of people uh, through competence and the desire to enter higher education to pursue careers in mathematics, engineering, and technology. Why? Because we are trying to bridge the gap between the current CAP syllabus and you know for most of us as parents I think you did what was called higher mathematics and uh, uh, standard. Uh, mathematics so the difference between that syllabus that we used to, to have back then and the current syllabus there were some topics which were removed so those topics now have been taken and then we have now created a subject which is now called advanced program mathematics so the advanced program it is actually an extension of uh, the current uh, mathematics and it challenges these people to demonstrate uh, a greater than average ability or anyone who is also enthusiastic in mathematics is more than welcome to take because there are more advantages because if you are practicing at a higher level and then you go and write your maths exam maths becomes maths lit because things in maths becomes even much simpler so my expectation is for anyone who is doing mathematics if they do not get a dis uh, so for anyone who is doing advanced program mathematics if they do not get a distinction in maths for me I would see it as an underachievement although uh, there are some kids who are taking the advanced program mathematics but they, they are not that uh, a candidates already but uh, so for those I think that is understandable to say that they have done uh, they've performed at um, at their potential and it's more than welcome but you, there must be a significant difference in their uh, current performance in mathematics by the end of grade 12 the way they see and perceive mathematics must actually be a big difference and uh, so that is the purpose of uh, doing advanced program mathematics so here are a few aims that i have done um uh, listed 
about advanced program mathematics generally this advanced program mathematics enables people to experience more of the joy and beauty of uh, mathematics if that exists uh, and then to extend their mathematical knowledge to solve new problems in the world around them and grow that confidence in this ability to so use sophisticated mathematical processes to solve and to pose problems creatively and uh, critically and the rest i think you can also read uh, what i have listed there so there are topics that we do in advanced program mathematics even at grade 10 level these topics are not done in the current syllabus they will be done in their first year at a university or at tertiary uh, level so it gives them that edge um, uh, for those who are in the education uh, sector, I think you, well, if you know the syllabus for maths, there's something which is called integration. Integration is not part of the current um, core mathematics syllabus, but we do it in advanced program methods already at grade 10 level. Complex numbers, finding things like the square root of negative 4, it's not part of the syllabus, but in advanced program mathematics, already in grade 10, we cover these kind of uh, basic things that when they go to university at university level um lecturers make assumption that they already know that if they don't know these are some of the people who are actually forced to do or to take what are called bridging courses in order to have this background because it is not even part of the syllabus at that tertiary it's more like the foundation that they need so advanced program mathematics give them an added advantage their first year at university for someone who is in this uh, mathematical field something that has to do with mathematics at tertiary level especially at university they'll find their life so much easier than anyone else because when whatever the lecturers will be talking about they understand that language i think that makes uh give them an edge and also an added advantage over other peoples so thank you very much for uh, listening to our presentation if you have any questions please feel free to contact me for more clarification on what i have said